how's she going boys? Mike here. Welcome back to Grampy's Workshop. Guess what? Grampy is one of the luckiest guys in the world. For a lot of different reasons I'm a lucky guy. But one of the most recent reasons why I'm the luckiest guy in the world is I want a giveaway. I want a giveaway from Kirk north of 51 from over Newfoundland. Kirk is, he's, well Kirk's quite the fella. He lives in Newfoundland on the northern peninsula. Man, oh man, he's, uh, they have some pretty rough weather if you've ever been to Newfoundland. Pretty rough winters over there, but he's outdoors a lot. He does a lot of skidooing, he does a lot of trapping, he fishes. I think he's a commercial fisherman. And uh, on the north coast of Newfoundland, on the, the western side, she's rugged weather over there. Uh, I, I spent some time in Newfoundland, uh, in and around Cornerbrook, and, uh, and that was in the summer, and it was pretty rough weather there so I can imagine what it's like on the northern peninsula in the winter. So how to go Kirk. Uh, anyways, Kirk, uh, Kirk's quite a fella. He's got a nice channel. I just want to suggest if you ever get a chance go check out Kirk north of 51. Kirk does amazing stuff. He's quite handy. He can make anything uh, from nothing and a lot of what he has on his channel is little projects like that where he'll just take like one time he took like just a, a block of wood and he made a bird's nest out of it, a birdhouse out of it. Pretty neat. He does some leather work, he does uh, carpenter work, handy work, uh, you know, you name it. He can probably turn his hand to it. Uh, great fellow. Anyways, check out his channel. I suggest it highly. Uh, it, he's from Newfoundland, so you can't help but like him. It, just the way he presents himself in his videos, it's so calm and relaxed and easy going that it just, it just makes you feel good to watch his video. So, so tune in and uh, a little on the funny side too and I don't mind that a bit. Anyways, Kirk had this, uh, well he has lots of giveaway contests, got to give him credit for that boys. Kirk really is a good supporter of YouTube. He's got lots of giveaway contests and uh, this this contest that I won, he had a video posted uh, about different places around you know, like in the, especially in the Northern Peninsula and uh, the different things that you'll see and experience when you go there. Uh, so one of them was about the sheep that they have over there, and uh, it was interesting. Anyway, the giveaway was you had to answer some questions based on the video that he had. Hey, I was lucky enough to answer them all right, so I got my name put in the bin, and lo and behold, my name got picked out. Look, the first time in my life I ever won anything. Uh, so thanks a lot, Kirk. And uh, today my parcel arrived. Uh, just a little, I don't know whether this was good news or bad news story, but Kirk lives, like I say, northern peninsula of Newfoundland. He mailed this parcel on the 12th of March, and I didn't get it here in uh, central Nova Scotia until the 25th of March. So he could just about go to the moon and back by the time it got, took this parcel to get from Newfoundland to here. But anyways, we're going to open her up, see what's in it, because I'm getting excited to see. <laughs> I can know, I can only imagine it's going to be something decent if Kirk put it together, because he made it all himself. Uh, I'm just, I can't, well, let's get at her. Alright, so we're going to slash her open now. And Kirk, got, he, he's got this wrapped up like it was a Christmas present. I'm telling you. But, that's good, right? Because you never know these days where it's going to go. I love opening presents. I'm telling you, Kirk, i got to say, this was a pretty big surprise to me, and I sure appreciate you. Oh, excuse that. Sure appreciate you going through all this effort to put on this contest, to follow all the entries, and then not only that, but to put together this prize package and then mail it out because like you don't do that for nothing. So thanks, buddy. That's all I can say is thanks. And uh, I hope, uh, well, I know, I don't hope. I know it'll all come back to you in the end. You watch and see. So, man. I think I want tape. <laughs> uh, here we go. There, whoa, 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 whoa. Go easy, Mike. Go easy. So, first thing off the top is a nice card. You snooze, you lose. And, uh... <laughs> you snooze, you lose. Yeah. I hear you, buddy. I hear you. <laughs> so, I'll put that right out there. I think you can see that in the corner. Now, look at this. Uh, just as uh, evidence to uh, Kirk's handiwork, look at that, he made a box out of some old bigger box, so 
Awesome. Awesome. I wish I had your talents, Kirk. I wish I had your talents, buddy. Now, what's in here? I have to go careful opening this because I don't want to break anything. Oh, look at this. Oh, ho, ho, baby. This is a leather pouch. A leather tinder bag pouch. Look at that. And I'm sure that that pouch wasn't bought at Walmart. That was probably made in the shop. And look at the little uh, locks he has on the cord here. Okay, we're going to stop right now because I got to... I have to bring the camera in closer so you can get a good look at this. Alright, so now that we're in close, we're going to open this bag up. Look at that. Nice leather lace on it. That's awesome, Minnie. Holy darn, Kirk. What a job you did on this. A wood carved bear's tooth. <laughs> oh, baby. Unbelievable. And look at this. I think this is a wood carved shark's tooth. Unbelievable, man. The, the detail. And then this whole tinder pouch opens up. A tinder pouch now in case you're wondering if you're going camping on the trail which Kirk does quite often from his videos I can see that uh, you take this little tinder pouch along with you so you can light your fire on the trail. So you know like this is going to save my life maybe. How to go? Thank you Kirk. If I'm ever out in the woods need to, need to light my fire. I got it. Look at this. Look what I have here. I've got some wood shavings. You always need wood shavings for lighting a fire. I'll put those here so you can see them. And uh, little pieces of kindling. Awesome. Tied together with, with another little piece of leather. And you never know, you know, like if you're in trouble somewhere, even that little piece of leather may come in handy to help you out. Kirk, you thought of everything. I'm just, I'm just so humbled by winning this. Holy smokes, boys. I don't deserve this. All I did was answer a couple of questions. <laughs> There's a candle, a safety candle, of course. Uh, some fat wood. We don't have fat wood here in Nova Scotia, I don't think. But this fat wood here, man, oh man, you could uh, you can light a fire with that. That's excellent. My table is rocking. You're probably going to hear noise all over the place. What else? We got some birch bark tied up with more leather twine. Excellent. Uh, we have a flashlight. Oh, well, let's put a battery in that. That's okay though, I don't mind. I can, I can donate a battery. <laughs> Unbelievable what's in here. One of these uh, fire starting blocks. That's handy. We used to use those all the time starting the fire in the camp. Uh, but we uh, we don't start with these anymore. We, uh, we, we use propane. We got lazy. Some more fat wood. How'd it go? Nice. More birch bark. More little uh, fat wood there. And some old man's beard. And I guess I'm not sure what that is. Uh, deer fur maybe? I don't know. Or maybe that's just old man's beard too. But old man's beard, that's great when you're starting a fire. You just start a little ember going in there. And you put all that together. And you put some of these uh, little splits on it. Next thing you know, you're cooking up a meal on the trail. And uh, forever match. It had to go, a forever match. You can't go wrong with that. Oh, and what do we got here? Some more fire starter block. I got a little knife here. He sent me a little knife, which is uh, always handy to have, so you can, uh, you know, cut, make uh, shavings on your on your wood or anything. It's always nice to have a knife. Outdoor Canada, that's pretty sweet. And this knife comes with this nice little holder that uh, you can clip on your belt. That's sweet. Holy dying Kirk. Just amazing. And then in the uh, inside of his tinder bag he has his name. Kirk North of 51. Well Kirk North of 51 this is uh, Mike and Grampy's workshop North of 45. <laughs> Just saying. Thanks buddy. So Wow, Kirk, north of 51, a great tinder bag, tinder pouch, a great uh, lockback knife, nice little two inch blade on it, just perfect size, eh? Perfect size, just unbelievable. Uh, the forever match, the flashlight that once I put a battery in it, it'll work like a charm. Uh, some old man's beard, some shavings, some tin kindlings, little splits there, 
and I think Kirk Splits is what you call Kinlan in Newfoundland because I had a buddy from Newfoundland and we used to go camping all the time and Ed was forever making splits. So I'm betting, I'm betting those are splits. And then a uh, fire starter block, some, some uh, fat wood and a survival candle. And a card, if you snooze you lose. <laughs> Kirk, thanks a million buddy. This is just unbelievable. So folks, if you get a chance, not get a chance, don't take a chance, just do it. Go right over there right now, click on Kirk North of 51, or I'm going to put a link down below this uh, video, Kirk North of 51, or just in the search bar on, on uh, YouTube, put Kirk North of 51, and you'll get his channel, and tune in because he makes some great stuff, and he does some great giveaways, <laughs> I have to admit, great giveaways. Ah, <laughs> baby. Thanks a lot, Kirk, and we'll talk to you.